Hello! Uh, we'll be learning about balanced and unbalanced forces today. You will learn the terms, the definitions, and you will also learn how to calculate unbalanced force. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're first going to talk about net force. So all around us, forces are being applied to objects. And when you're talking about a net force, the net force on an object is the combination of all forces acting on it. So it's not just one force or two forces, any force, you would add them all together um, or subtract, which I'll get into in a minute, um, when calculating the net force. So the net force of an object is a combination. Force is measured in Newtons, and a lot of you guys may already know that because that was part of the vocabulary yesterday. So the net force is the combination and it will be measured in, force is always measured in Newtons. And if you take a look at this picture, your object would be the rope and you would take all the forces. So you have 320 Newtons here, they're, that's what they're um, pulling, they're pulling at 300. So all that together, um, which we'll talk about why it's subtracted in a little bit, would be, um, the net force. Balance. So your forces are either balanced or unbalanced. The big thing about being balanced is that the net force is zero. Zero. Another thing is that it will not change in motion. So it is at a stop. It is not moving. It is, there's absolutely no motion occurring at all. So if there's no movement or net force equals zero newtons, you are a balance, which makes sense, right? So this um, elephant is pulling at 200 and this elephant is pulling at 200. So since they're pulling at the same force, this little piece right here, this little piece of wood is going nowhere because the force is the same. Okay, so balanced means no motion, no change in motion at all. So if you had two teams and they're playing tug of war and they both were just as strong, zero. So the unbalanced force. We're gonna spend most of the time now talking about unbalanced force. Movement, so anytime your net force is greater than zero, forces are in balance because the object is in motion. So both of them are giving some force Okay, and because it's on, it's because of this couch, imagine this couch is moving to the right because of that movement and because it's greater than zero, um, the combined force of them is 45. I'll tell you how they got that in a minute. Because it's greater than zero and because it's moving, you're an unbalanced force. Okay, so balanced, not moving, zero, unbalanced, greater than zero, and it's moving. Okay, um, all right, so. How do you find the net force? So unbalanced would be zero. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, balanced is zero. Unbalanced would be greater. So but not all forces are combined. That's why you have unbalanced. So when we're talking about unbalanced, what happens if two forces are both acting upon one object in the same direction? You're gonna add them, okay? To find a net force of, net force of forces that are acting in the same direction, you add them together. Okay, so again, to find net force of forces that are acting in the same direction, you add them together. Example, um, you pull a box with 40 Newtons, and your brother, who's so helpful, is pushing at this, at, with a force of 20 Newtons. So I'm pulling a box, he's pushing it, and let's say we're pushing it, it's going to the right, and imagine it's going to the right right now. You add them together, because we're both going in the same direction, 30 plus 20 equals 50. Okay, so 50 newtons, the total. If it's in the same direction, you add 30 newtons plus 20 newtons equals 50 newtons. Okay, so there you go. So anytime it's going in the forces or acting together in the same direction, you add them. So here is the same example here because he's they're both going in the same direction. He's applying 20 newtons. He's applying 25. You add them together, 25 plus 20, a total of 45 newtons and it's being pushed to the right. Okay, because they're acting together, you add them. Another example, um, this block here, you have five Newtons being applied here. This person's pushing, let's pretend like they're different people pushing. Red is pushing five Newtons, green is pushing five Newtons. You add them together because they're going in the same direction and working together. Five Newtons plus five Newtons equals 10 Newtons. Okay, so in the same direction, you add them together and they're working together. 
this is more this is probably more along the lines of you and your brother um, in opposite directions so if you're acting in opposite directions you're going to subtract the smaller force from the larger force okay so as an example perfect the remote control right you both want to watch something your brother is tugging on the report with a force of eight newtons but you have it in the opposite direction going 10 newtons you're stronger than your little brother so guess what he's gonna let it go you're gonna subtract it right so 10 newtons minus 8 newtons the net force is applied the remote is 2 newtons and guess which direction it's gonna go in yours because you're stronger right so again your brother 8 you're 10 equals you subtract them because they're going in opposite directions okay eight min 10 minus 8 equals um, 2 newtons and whatever direction is the biggest number and that's what this is saying so okay so there's a book right I don't want my book get take it so this person's pushing it 18 newtons this way this person's pushing it 20 newtons this way okay because they're acting in opposite directions you subtract them 20 minus 18 so the net force will be 2 and which direction is it going into the higher number this way right because this numbers this is more force boom going this way so always take the large number subtract the smaller and then you're gonna it's going to go in the direction that has the bigger number boom that way okay so boom here's another example that we're talking about with tug of war so they're pulling 320 newtons this way they're pulling 300 newtons this way because they're going in opposite directions you subtract 320 minus 300 newtons which equals 20 newtons and because they have the bigger number it's going to go towards them okay so just always think like which force is being applied and whatever force is larger it's going to go in that direction I think that's what this is just saying. Object always moves in the direction of the net unbalanced force because 10 is bigger than 7. He's going to win even though he's got, it's going to slow him down, right? It's definitely going to slow him down, but he's still going to be, this car is still going to go in the opposite direction. For, most force always wins, okay? Can't beat physics. Stronger is going to outweigh the, the weaker. Okay, so very same idea, vector, speed, and velocity. Um, same idea as force. If you, if speed is going in the same direction, you'll add them together. So if a car is rolling eight miles per hour um, to the north, and um, he's put in it like broke down, and the guy's pushing it at ten, you'd add them together because you're going in the same direction. So ten plus eight equals eighteen miles per hour. So same idea. If if they're going in the same direction, you add. Okay. So eight plus ten equals, and there should be a line right here. Sorry, equals eighteen miles per hour. Um, if they're going in opposite directions, so how many times have you guys maybe, I've left to kayak. So we're kayaking and the wind's with us. All right, cool, you would add it, right? Because you're both going in the same direction. But on the way back, it's against you. So um, here's an example. So the plane is traveling 90 meters per second east, but the wind is blowing in the opposite direction, 10 meters per second west. Because you're going to slow down, right? Because the wind is blowing against you. So 90 minus 10 equals 80. You're still going to the east because you're still going to go in the direction that's the largest, but you're going to slow down because of the force. Um, okay, so 90 minus 10. If you're going, so just always remember as a rule of thumb, same direction you add, opposite direction you subtract. And that applies to force and velocity. The reason why this is velocity and not speed is because we're talking about direction and that's the whole reason why we learned speed and velocity um that's all okay so uh, make sure you do your little practice quizzes throughout the time and we are going to practice for the next three or four days all right